Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with another AP Physics 1 Dynamics question. As a recap, these are free body diagram problems. Instead of a free body diagram, do the net force equations and solve it. So if you do enough practice of these, like these are super easy. Like the questions are not very hard. It just it takes a lot of practice. This is why I do a lot of them with you guys for all of these topics. A block of mass M is pulled along a rough horizontal surface by a constant applied force of magnitude F1 that acts as theta to the horizontal as indicated above. The acceleration of the block is A1. Express all algebraic terms in terms of M, F1, theta, and A1 in fundamental constants. On the figure below, draw and label a free body diagram showing all the forces on the block. Okay, the obvious one is we have F1 here. We got Mg, the force of gravity. We have a normal force Fn and then it's a rough so I have a force of friction okay derive an expression for the normal force exerted on the surface by the block okay so um, for the normal the for the normal force I gotta look at the y direction does that make sense like because that's that's where the normal is so I'm gonna look at positive x this way positive y this way in this direction let me let me clear that up y positive here so let's set up the direction so normal force is this force and this vertical component force like I gotta add up all the forces in the y direction right so y direction I gotta add up all, all the forces have to be equal so Fn plus this guy's component in the vertical right this por portion here that is f1 sine theta has to equal um, the downward force in the vertical direction it's just mg so fn is equal to mg minus f1 sine theta again this normal force is not just mg cosine theta or whatever it's not just equal to mg it's equal to this because we got to do the net force equations. That's like that's so key when you're doing these problems. Derive an expression for the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface. Okay, so now we're going to look at the x direction. In the x direction, um, let's see. Constant applied force. He's pulled along and he's accelerated. Okay, so it's probably accelerating to the right. Yeah, that's what he's pulling. So let's look at the x direction forces. Well, F1 has an x component, F1 cosine theta. That's in the positive x direction. And the only other thing is the force of friction, which is mu times the normal force. And that has to equal the mass of the blocks times acceleration, which they called A1. Okay. So I want now to solve for mu. Well, because I have Fn, uh, I, from here, I'm going to plug that into there. So I'm going to have F1 cosine theta minus mu times mg minus F1 sine theta equals ma. So I'm going to solve for mu. And I'm going to bring all of this over, then all of this. So I'm going to have F1 cosine theta minus ma1, this is a1, divided by mg minus f1 sine theta, that equals mu. This is just sort of algebraically rearranging this, okay? So that's that one. Um, good. On the axis below, sketch the graphs of the speed v and displacement x to the block as function of time if the block started from rest at x equals zero. Okay, as velocity moves up at a constant, like this, where the slope is A1 slope, right? And so what he does with his position is that it must move quadratically. Under constant acceleration, the position equation is quadratic. Okay, something like that. Um, yeah, if the applied force is large enough, the block will lose contact with the surface. Derive an expression for the magnitude of the greatest acceleration A max that the block can have and still maintain contact with the ground. Okay. So when I lose contact, you see, if this F1 sine theta was big enough to overcome gravity, like 
it, it once it overcomes gravity then i'm like lifting the thing off the ground right then it's going to definitely lift up so when it exactly loses contact is when this y component equals mg and then the normal force would be zero see the normal force is kind of the leftover it's the leftover force like the table does has to push back simply because the block is pushing on it and so the table pushes back but if i'm lifting the block and it's bare it's about to lose contact there's no normal force there so it's when mg is equal to f1 sine theta or another one um okay and so i want to find what a max is under this scenario what the acceleration is under this condition under this condition this is zero right because there's no normal force there's no friction friction that means f1 cosine theta equals m a1 now um i do know this is true so maybe what i can do is solve for f1 and put it in here derive an expression for the mag yeah if i can solve for f1 see this equation i can do mg over sine theta equals f1 and then plug it into here so then i get mg over sine theta cosine theta equals m a1 the mass is now cancel and so a1 is just simply equal to g cosine theta over sine theta that's cotangent theta or you could just write as cosine theta over sine theta so that'd be the maximum all right so hope you found that helpful it's really important i mean it's it's always the same it's a setting up a free body diagram identifying all the forces is key in the directions but once you do it it's very methodical in how you uh do the net force equations so i hope you find, guys found that helpful i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching the video guys please leave a comment like or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below i offer free homework help on uh, twitch and discord see you guys in the next video